Good morning, class. Good morning, sir. Okay, Miss Shilin, kindly lead the prayer. Okay, you may sit down. What's absent? Of course, no absent today. So, before we proceed to our new lesson, let's make a short recap for our lesson yesterday, okay? So, yesterday we have discussed about nail structures, right? Yes. Okay. So, so, if you still remember what is the, what we call, curly shape parts of the nail. Curly colored shape, uh, like a crescent moon on your nail, what we call that? Lula. Yes, Lula. How about the extension of the hyponation? Free? Free edge. Free edge, yes. Okay. And the rest is the other parts is the what? Nail wall, matrix, nail bed, nail plate, cuticle and yes. So for today's lesson, I will uh, start you with the picture. So I will show you pictures. Okay, observe. See and observe the other pictures. Okay. What can you say? Are those beautiful names or not? No. Okay. So what 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 do you think is our lesson for today is from these pictures? Sir, nail diseases. Yes, very good. It's all about nail diseases and disorders. Okay. If you're talking about nail diseases, it, uh, it's a lot of diseases, but there are certain uh, uh, studies that give the name of those diseases and disorders. So let's uh, start with what is nail diseases? Can they read you with that? Nail diseases are conditions. Of both the name and the surrounding skin, which result from the bacterial fungal viral infection. Some conditions will show a green, yellow, or black discoloration of the name, depending on the nature of the infection. Yes, it says everything, okay, it is but it may be caused by bacterial, fungal, or viral infection. That is what we call nail diseases, and the signs, the signs are what we call. Uh, green, yellow, or black discoloration is considered the nail has a disease. Okay, try to remember that if your nail are having a, a, a other color, like for example, green, yellow, or black, it means that you don't have a healthy nail, you have a nail disease. Okay, the main cause for infection is through a damaged cuticles and broken skin, just like on the picture. You observe that. Uh, a damaged cuticle may cause like this swollen to nail. Okay? Hence, it is already been infected. Okay. Given below is a list of a few nail diseases and disorders and their characteristics. Okay. Nail diseases. Okay, we should carry with number one. Okay. Uh, bluish nail is uh, maybe caused by accident, maybe it can uh, uh, pop down with a uh, heavy object. So the blood inside is create the bluish color. Okay. That's the blue nails. In some instances, also having blue nails is a sign of a having a heart failure. O, kung may mga ganyan mong eksena, kung hindi siya nagagana ng mabigat na bagay, maaari nga rin kang sakit sa puso. Okay, next. Okay. Brittle nails. It is a vertical splitting or separation of the nail plate layers of the distal free edge of the nail plate. O. So, brittle nails, for example, di ba natin na-experience natin na yung feel is natin is magdodobol siya. That's brittle nails as an example. Maybe this cause is that you, uh, maybe the main cause sometimes is that uh, when you use a 
nail cutter. The nail cutter is very dull. Yun. So, hindi ba natin yung pagkakat niya kaya nagkaroon dito ng breakage kaya nagkaroon ng dito ng nail. Natupuklat yung first layer ng kuko. Dito ng nail. Next. Ito naman. Bruges nail. Oh, it shows uh, dark purple almost black or ito from the word brewies pasak yan maybe naipit or nadagana ng mabigat na bagay or naipit sa mga you know uh, pintuan if I can work with and everything that is brewies nail from the word brewies pasak next is eggshell nail okay nili julie bet what's eggshell eggshell nail the name plate separates from the nail bed and curves as the free edge. Oh, diba? Bunggal ng kuko. Pero lang yung eggs, pero pa siyang chill. Because, the, 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 the picture, or the, how long stop, I mean, it's like an egg with a shell. Okay? The nail plate separates from the nail bed and curve at the free edge. So, this is, this is, maybe, it's because by genetical disorder or hereditary. Ganyan, pinamamana. Okay naman ang sistema ng katawan. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Miss Julie Pe. Ay, Michelle, the next one. Yes. There are knowledge that rabbits eat their own twice for a cross the day. Some lines like fish are normal than other. Yes. This is commonly is over using the pincer, tornil, or any shack objects. It creates just lines horizontally. Pahabaso or pa, ganon, vertically, over ano yan, sa sobrang pag-focusutan sa ating mga kuko. Kaya, don't over uh, push and clean your nail. Only what is beginning by the critical remover or the uh, is, is slow, is slow or smooth uh, pushing. That's only that they do not uh, uh, deeply clean it because it's so far away. Okay. <clears throat> Ito naman. Oh, hang nail. Face a condition with the critical space around the nail. Oh. Oh, for example, this one. Uh, if you overuse the potion, right? It will affect the. For example, uh, very common sa parlor, di pa kung namamagay yung kuko. Yan na ground yan ng hang nail. Yung kuko is. Yung kuko ay magdiwala sila sa critical. Nararanasan yung mga gano'n. Natutuklat yung cuticle natin. That's the hangin. Diba makikin na sa loob? Ang damataan na siya, magugunod na siya. Look at this one naman na ako. Lytonchia or white spot. White spot appears differently in the nails. Okay? Ito yung lumbana tayo. Pag nahulog daw ito, makakulog ka ng pera. That is false. Because this is also considered as a nail. Yes, okay. For next, okay, you need to review it. It's a review. It's a review. It is an overgrowth of cuticle which is stick to the surface of the nail plate. Carefully remove the other remove by means of a cuticle review. Oh, oh. It's a review is acquired. Siguro, this one, gamay nyo yung kuko. Tapos yung tumubo na, nagkaroon na siyang splits. Okay? So, isa na siyang disease. Because, the rate is already been affected. So, for the rest of her life, ang nabubuhay siya yung lalabas na kuko. Like my one two nail. That's still the ring to. That's permanent. So, be careful in cleaning your two nails. Because once it damages the matrix, it's forever gonna be corrected. Okay. Nail disorder. O, may mga disorder tayo. Number one is, onicotumized mycosis. It's an infectious disease caused by vegetable parasite. The, on, the onset of the disease takes about two or three months and that is rarely or more than one or two nails. So, if you say that it is an infectious disease caused by a vegetable parasite, maybe this is commonly occurs to farmers. Kaya kalo yung mga farmers natin, eh, ganyan ang mga kuko, nakikita natin. O, di ba? Yung mga bunga bengkat, o, tumatalon, maganyan ang mga kuko nila. 
because they are not they are not aware that uh, some 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 insects are very tender to nails. Oh, that's it. Next <coughs> is the onychia. Is a term applicable to chronic inflammation of the nails called in nail bed matrix. Okay. This this order talaga if you in the system. Okay. There are some person talaga na hindi sila gipte ng maganda ko ko. I have a friend with having this disorder. So what she did is that uh, she go to a surgeon and then they remove all the all the two nails to surgery and then uh, he give them medicine to take and then after a few few months, beautiful nails is growing, growing. But it's so expensive. The next one is the onychocryptosis. It is referred to ingrown nails, which affect the fingers and toenails. It is a mark by an ingrown into surrounding tissue and the may cause of infection. It is very common to us. Because yung iba kayo sa atin, di ba, we have, yung, yung shape na po po natin is malapad. And then, we wanted it to become a beautiful. So, they're trying to make it the best shape. They cut the skin that makes grace. So, Beginning pa siya natin the matrix, that is what we call the beginning of the ingrown. So, if ingrown is not treated carefully, you can have the onychocryptosis disorder. Okay, so, if your nails are uh, flat or not well shaped, just keep it here. Don't try to remove the ingrown because once ingrown is damaged, it's forever damaged. Okay, and it's still painful also. Pwede ka magkalag na, di ba? Okay. For the next disorder is the onychoptosis. It is the periodic shredding of one or more nails, either in the full or in part. Okay. Just, just like the, uh, what call is that this is the second earlier? The white spot. But it is more severe. Okay. Polyceptosis, and it's also a disorder. So if you encounter like this on your toenails or fingernails, don't say that it's beautiful. It's a disorder, okay? But it's so rare. Another one is the onychocolosis, onychoclysis. It refers to the attachment of the nail from the nail bed, starting at each distal or lateral attraction. Okay. Ano kita ng mga nito? Diba? My sister has been like this, onico, onicolosis. It's it in this ano, it's my sister. Maybe nakala niya siguro. Siguro may mga ganyan kaming dahil ng araw. And kala niya naman nagpunta. So this is disorder. Pero ito, in a few months, gumaganda naman siya. Pero sigla bigla, maganda na rin niya sa loob. So kasi siya na na naman. Kaya habang ngayon lang itong sakya ko, wala kang pagpagamot sa surgeon. Next is the onico, onicogryposis or clonials. Ito naman o. Oh. Pertains, extreme thickening. Oh, diba? So, this is commonly uh, commonly seen to the if you watch the, the longest nail in the world, an Indian, yes. He, he, he deserves that longer because he has a clonial syndrome. That's why he, he, he can uh, grow his uh, fingernails. Up to meters, and you have to because he has having a clonal syndrome. A clonal is uh, compared to a claw of an eagle, it's so it's so hard and it's so thick, so it's not easily broken. That's why you can grow, but you know, it's not good, it's also a disorder. So, don't uh, be advised with having clonal so that you can grow your nails, okay. Okay for your activity. Okay, direction. Match the names of the next uh, diseases and disorders. Based from our discussion, you will match the Okay. But you want to share comment? Okay, for activity based on our discussion, try to answer the following. 
direction match the names of the knee diseases and disorders and column A to column B. Okay, bring out one portrait paper. This was only 1 to 10, so I will give you 5 minutes. Only the letters. Okay, what, for example, blue means what, what picture uh, matches that? <coughs> for number 2, or Likunchiya, uh, what picture matches that one? As well as number 3, Beetle Nails. Number 4, Onycumycosis. Number five, Paros. Number six, Onycobriposis. Number seven, Pityridium. Number eight, Angnails. Number nine, Onycocryptosis. And number ten, Eggshell Nail. Okay? Are you done? Yes. Okay, let's check. For blue nails, Oh, that's it. Oh my god. Oh, for blue nails, picture number five. I see it's very good. Check. For number two, picture number five, right? Yes. Number three, picture number two. Number four, number seven. Number six, number five. Number seven, number one. Number eight, number nine. Uh, number nine, picture ten. And... Uh, Number 10, picture 1, 10. Very good. You get that all correctly. Okay? So, based on our discussion, why is it important to determine uh, diseases of our nails? Bakit mahalagang malaman natin yung mga uh, diseases or mga sakit ng ating mga upo? Bakit mahalagang? Ano ano yung idea niyo bakit kailangan mong malaman yung mga sakit ng kuko? Okay. Para kawat. Yes. Ano uh, ano idea o bak what was why is important that knowing the knee diseases? Bakit mahalaga malaman natin yung mga sakit ng ating mga kuko? Yes, any idea? Yes, Micheline, nakapagisip ka na ba? Okay. O bakit? Kailangan ano natin malaman yung mga sakit ng kuko? Oo, yes. Para malaman natin uh, kung paano gamutin yung sakit na yun. Kasi di ba, I told you earlier na those uh, what we call bluish nail, uh, sometimes it's a sign that you have heart failure. Okay. So, oh, why? It is also important to know the Disorders of the nails. Bakit kailangan niyo malaman yung mga disorders ng ating mga kuko? Yes, Gulibet. Why? Why is any to know the disorders of our nails? <clears throat> of course, yes. If you, I mean, if you uh, know that uh, uh, there is disorder happening on your nail, of course, you will know to treat it if it's treatable or not. Okay? Very good. For your next activity, make a list of different nail diseases and disorders try to eat on a one sheet of paper. Based on our discussion, think of those uh, name of those nail disorders and then nail diseases. I will give you three minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Ang dami-dami niyang diseases na yan. As well as yung mga disorders, ang dami-dami niyan. Uh, maybe you can write down 5 uh, diseases and 5 disorders. Okay. Within 3 minutes. And I think you can set up to 5 minutes. If you can uh, make it for 3 minutes. Okay. So that when you're going home, you can see the needs of your family, you can see that they are having the disorders or diseases, that's important. <coughs> okay, are you done? Okay, pass your papers. Since we're lacking of time.
I will just uh, check your papers up uh, and I will give it back to you tomorrow. Okay? For your assignment, search the different name sheets and list down the procedures on how to do some of it. Okay? Using the internet, the Google, okay, find the different kind of name sheet. Because it is said that there are many kind of name sheet that speak to every finger. Okay? That's all for today. Thank you for coming. Goodbye class. Goodbye sir.